Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ken. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick way to replace your window sash. This is the, the, the part that goes along the bottom of your window, your, your driver's side and passenger side window. And this one is a from a 67 to 72 pickup truck, but I'm sure it works for almost all the older, older windows. It's a really easy process. And I hope you enjoy it. Bring me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, so here's the, uh, this is the glass that I want to use. This is for the driver's side. And it's got my fingerprints and stuff all over it. And there's like a layer of stuff on it I want to try to get off too. Uh, so my Windex. Boy, that sun is just blasting me right here. Let's scooch this all over here. This sun is a little much. There we go. Put you guys back. All Sweat rolling down my ears, my eyes. All right, so clean piece of glass. Uh, it's basically going to be going in to the door like this, with the diagonal on this side. So this has got to go. See the groove here? This is basically going to be going on here like so. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to use the other piece of glass for reference. Okay. So it's basically, I don't know if you can see this, but. There's probably a half inch here and a half inch here. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so now here's where you take this rubber and I want this rubber to be as long as this thing here. So, oops, so I'm going to kind of like measure it using this thing. I'm going to measure it as long as this is. Well, right to there and I'm going to cut it right here. Some old green handles or orange handle scissors that I've had for a long time. Should be well, I guess it's not gonna be enough for another one. There's that. So what you do now, you just put this on top here, like so. You want to use like a rubber mallet. Hopefully this won't shatter. Uh, one thing you could do actually is put this on, put yourself with like a piece of cardboard in the bottom. I got some cushion. I want to cardboard real quick.
So, I got so what I'm doing here is this. See, the, the middle part of the rubber wants to it wants to be flat. So you get to kind of like work it on there. So you have to take your fingers and push it down. On the other hand, just kind of push it down with it. This way, it folds up in there, you know, and just keep going. Look at it, just push around and now you can just just like that. That's all it took. She ain't coming up now. I'm gonna give it a couple more taps just in case. Just to make me feel better. Look at that, brand new. Okay, now, you see now there's uh, there's actually excess rubber here. So what I'll go ahead and do is take my my razor knife and just cut it. Got a nice sharp blade. Don't want too much pressure because you don't want to, you know, mess your glass up. Well, I thought I had it. So I'm kind of lifting up on the plastic as I'm pulling on it or I'm cutting it. Wow, this was an easy process. This looks like a new, whole new uh, glass installation. Well, I'll start back. For some reason, I'm not getting that there's a piece still. I'm going to start from this end here. And just keep cutting as I pull. Or keep pulling as I cut. And flip it over. There's a bee buzzing around here, it's driving me freaking crazy. There you go, fellas. That is how you do, how you install new glass. Or a new sash on your glass. That's the reason why I wanted this glass, because it's got the soft ray. That's why I want it. Keep it. All right, let's get this installed.